Ladies and gentlemen, we're finally back in quarantine. Bros breaking it down from different parts of New York City. It's me, your host with the most, James Sweeney. Somewhere on the screen, I think directly to this side, is uh, His Holiness the Dalai Lama. What up, no, Dalai no, Lama? Wrong side. Wrong, uh, uh, oh, actually, maybe right side. I'm not even sure. Oh, I think it's recording. pointing to Steve on my so screen. It's recording on my camera, so this is definitely where you are. <laughs> what All up, right, Dalai man. Lama? How you doing, man? You know, uh, life is good. <laughs> All right. And over here is none other than Steve-O. What up, Steve-O? Yo, actually, on my screen, it's the exact opposite also. <laughs> well, I know so I'm me recording. and Steve-O, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. We're recording on this two, screen. Two out of three, you two baby. can go fuck yourselves because I know Whoa. what I'm like, recording here. And uh, I miss you guys. I know, man. It's been a long time. It's been almost a month. Yeah, I know. It's been a very long time. And you know what, guys? I think this is going to work out for the better because it's going to be up this evening because there's not a lot of editing and post-production work that needs to be done besides yeah. watching language, obviously. Beside that, right. let me talk about I'm sorry. My story today. The, the goal sure. of bros breaking down right now, three stories, three people. Each person has their own topic. My topic is this. I was really fucking excited today because I've been cleaning up my balcony. I've been making sure it's nice and spotless. And I realized there's one thing on my balcony that I need now that I haven't had in a long time. I need a new patio table because the one that I have now is all destroyed and it's all rusted. The glass doesn't even connect anymore. So I went online. I went, I, I said, let me find one of these foldable ones that'll look nice and made out of wood because everything's made out of wood except for my table. So I went online, I went on Ikea and Ikea had the best deal in the world. Ah. It was $99 for a patio table, normally okay. made out of wood. Yeah. This time on sale, $59. I said, I'm fucking buying this thing. Well, they not give you the Allen key? Is that why it was so cheap? <laughs> <laughs> well, the reason why is because they have a special outdoor patio sale for this month. Oh, and well, yeah, because like, oh, you can't use it. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> and it was really well, nice. is, is it the COVID-19 sale? Nobody's buying furniture. Nobody's buying <laughs> yeah, toilet yeah. paper. <laughs> well, I said to myself, $99 to $59, absolutely. Now, yeah, I, didn't, awesome. I, didn't, I didn't know until now. IKEA stores, they're closed nationwide. Okay, fine. They, I thought maybe you'd be able to go there and pick it up. No, you can't pick it up. Delivery it is. That's the only option I had was delivery. That makes sense. Now, I logged on. I said, well, delivery, how much is it going to be? Delivery as low as $5. And I'm like, $5? Yeah, perfect. Great. Yeah, yeah. So, well, depending on how far you are from an Ikea. Well, the well, thing well, is how, that, how, big, how big is this patio we're talking about? Actually, how heavy is it? Patio, the table. No, it's, no, you're saying how big is the patio table? It's, small, table, it's, yeah, uh, it's like 28 by 28, so it's a like square. So you, you could have actually fit it on the back of your car well, if, it, I want, if, in the if, back, if it was open. It's, it's, it's the size of like my chest. It's not that big. It's the perfect oh, okay. size for a balcony. Okay. So, you know, I, I, was thinking of, I, think, I was thinking of something like <laughs> twice the size of that. No, matter. it's small. It's, it's like it's the same size as my current patio table, but you could fold it. it it's fine. Okay, yeah. So, so it's not a big table. It's, like yeah. it's like a rectangle. So I was excited. I was yeah, happy. It's not, rectangle. it's not bad. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to get this delivered. $59, right? And it says $5 minimum from the closest Ikea. And this Ikea in Red Hook, which is yeah. 10 minutes away from me. I've been there. It, I could have driven there, picked it up, $59 out, but can't do that. <clears throat> so I said, deliver. I put in my zip code. It says, you're from the Ikea in Brooklyn, New York. Yeah. You know how much the delivery was? Yeah, all the money you were going to save. Uh, it was $59 for the table. Yeah. Delivery for a 10-minute drive. Yeah. $48. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> So what I did, I just said, you got to be joking me. I did a little bit of research. I got so pissed off that I just I exited everything and I actually turned my computer off because they wanted me to pay $48 to deliver a $59 table. Now, could you have done the Ikea out on Long Island? Could you have picked it up there? Or is this every no, Ikea? Is every, every, every Ikea, the further the Ikea, the more it would have cost. Okay. Well, no, 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 so, so, saying, so, so you have tried that okay, okay. no i'm saying was is every ikea in the country are they only delivery you can't go oh, pick only, up at only other ones. nationwide okay. they released a statement on the 28th of march that i read about covid19 uh, due to uh, the possibility of <laughs> transferring you. it through boxes uh they refuse to have anybody in the store picking up <clears throat> so so that's the, the only option is to order it online and have them deliver it from the closest Ikea. Now, I, I was smart. So I was like, I got a friend in Jersey City. I got friends in Long Island. Let yeah. me see who's close. No, the minimum, the, the smallest one I saw was $38 from Newark to like a 
another Oof. area by Union City. I was like, get the fuck out yeah, of here. Yeah, hard pass. Hard pass. So coronavirus has prevented me from not only uh, going outside. Oh, you said outside, the C word. Oh, the, the C word has prevented me from not only Cuts. going outside, but, <laughs> but enjoying, but enjoying well, it is a the outside. It's, it it's ridiculous. Cut. Like, would you, yeah. would you pay... Would you pay a forty-eight dollar no. delivery fee for a fifty-nine dollar table? No. Hey James, do, do you hey, think hey, there's people that are doing that? Hey James, yeah. you know the funny thing is, it's a forty-eight dollar delivery. I paid less for that for us to have a sixty-five inch projection TV delivered to my house back in the day. I paid less than that for a sixty-five inch projection TV in two thousand four. So do you think, <laughs> do you think now with the coronavirus that would be just as cheap, or like would they try to milk the delivery fees as well? Because I'm sure the reasoning as to why they're not why, why they're charging so much is saying. Well, we have to take into consideration the limited employee staff that we have and the right. safety precautions. So, therefore, we've got right, to so add the on the extra delayed, then. I'll, I'll, thirty I'll, bucks. A wait's a wait. That's fine. Yeah, but there yeah. is no there is no waiting period for this. It's either you pay no, wait, or that, you don't that, get that, it. That, that, no, no, that's funny you say that because I remember I had I had like a uh, I bought a tire because one of my tires was leaking in my car from tire rack. Five dollars shipping. A yeah. tire. Which is heavier than your fucking table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then again, you're not living in the times of coronavirus, the C word. No, 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 just now. I bought it. I bought it like three days ago. Five dollars. Would you buy from China? No, uh, it's Michelin, so it's French. Oh, yeah. Mich- Michelin. Michelin. I wonder Secret. if that's why they're doing all of the, the savings right now. And they're really just tacking it back on at the yeah. end because of delivery that's probably what it is that's a good point that's ridiculous though i'm sorry i'm not paying yeah, fuck that. oh it's like a, so steve so, so you think he's, it's like a gotcha game where you're yeah. like hi hey, 40 dollars with 30 dollars delivery free they, they just did that shit on ebay exactly, <laughs> exactly. That's yeah what they used doing. to do that that used to be the ebay catch back in the day yeah ebay yeah. catch but they can't do that anymore but that, that used to be the thing on ebay people used to feel it's like hi hey, you know we got this great computer for like hundred dollars three hundred dollars shipping delivery like fuck yep. you <laughs> That's well, exactly what it is. Well, I'm upset now because any table that's similar to it is about 120 to 150 online, and I'm like, I need it, but I don't need it right now. I'm yeah, just gonna wait. wait. Yeah. You know, but I thought I thought I had a steal with 59.99. I was like, yeah, yeah was when you had to add shipping and handling, <laughs> which is 48 dollars to yeah. go 10 minutes. <laughs> Are you still doing your gardening outside in your balcony? Yeah, no, I haven't put it outside because it's still a little cold. So I have quite a few basil plants oh, hanging basil, out in my right. living room right now. Shit, right, so. you, might, you might need a bigger garden when the shit goes down. You know what I'm saying? Like a, your whole balcony. Your whole fucking balcony at this point. <laughs> Go some cucumbers, some lettuce. <laughs> you know? Tomatoes, dude. Gotta tomatoes, have tomatoes, yeah. Oh, I, was I, actually, have tomatoes. I, I, I was actually thinking about that. Because, you know, I, I, I got a pretty decent backyard. I was like, yeah, maybe, you know, I got this whole side. Maybe I should start gardening. Dalai Lama, start taking care of yourself first before you take care of Well, garden. maybe he'll eat that food. No, he won't. He eats the food. The, 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 the random homeless cats, the stray cats and dogs will eat it before Dalai Lama does. Right, I guess oh, squirrels, 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 squirrels. Squirrels. Yeah, I do eggplants. They're so easy to grow, too. Dalai Lama good... loves eggplants. I love a good eggplant. Like, no, <laughs> no homo. I love eggplants. <laughs> no homo. <laughs> yeah, no homo. I love eggplant, dude. Eggplant parm? Fuck. Eggplant dude, parm is so golden, as long as it's yeah. good. Well, obviously but i've you, had some you, that are you, pretty you good barbecue that shit that's just that should taste great barbecue um, smoke that smoky flavor that's fucking yeah. great. slice that shit up delicious with, with with some extra virgin olive oil a hint of salt on there and pepper Ooh, oh hell delicious yeah, shit. all right so besides my ikea debacle next topic by the next person who's next oh i'll go next go ahead steve all right so i got a fun one for you in this time of no sports besides the country of belarus that plays sports i mean <laughs> i mean wrestlemania just happened <laughs> yeah um, but it's sports I, entertainment right sports. so this is legit sports <laughs> so um i don't know how familiar you guys are with ufc um i'm a huge ufc guy uh Ah, I know so I'm, I'm, I'm a filthy casual when it comes to so there's the, there's been a card that's been in the works for a long time uh I want to say it was UFC 248 or 249. I forget the number. I think it's 249. Um, or not 248. Whatever. Either way. Uh, it was supposed to be Tony Ferguson versus Khabib. Mm-hmm. Uh, I about that. Yeah. Okay. Well, Khabib can't get out of Russia. Oh, and yeah, you're right. Tony Ferguson lives in the United States. Uh, so they're like, all right, screw it. Let's build the best card we can with fighters from the United States and we'll find a place to do this. Well, every, uh, 
Vegas wouldn't give Nevada state athletic commission wouldn't give license to fight. No one on the East coast has given it. California said no. So everybody assumed the card was dead. The card was dead. Well, UFC came out two days ago and they showed the card of everybody that's fighting. They've inked all of the stuff. They got it. The card's happening, but here's the best part. It was announced today that for the last, I think it was two to three weeks or two to three months that Dana White and the UFC have been in the process of purchasing their own private island somewhere (laughs) off the coast of the United States on the West Coast. They're going to be building a facility on said private island and will be hosting the fights live from their own private island in the Pacific Ocean. Wow. Now, does anybody remember the, I think it was Enter the Dragon, where the really rich rich guy purchased an island and flew fighters in from all over the world. Mr. Claw? Mr. Mr. Hand, yeah. (laughs) Mr. Hand, yeah. (laughs) And the funniest funniest thing I saw was, do you guys know who uh, Henry Cejudo is? No. Okay, so he's a uh, he's a UFC guy. He's a um, Olympic gold wrestler, but he's also like five foot two, and he weighs like one hundred and twenty five pounds. Okay, small, he, right? Yeah, real that's small a, guy. That's like a, that's a small average in between. Yeah, so he's he's a UFC. I think it's straw weight champ. So yeah. the best tweet I saw was: Imagine that you're Tony Ferguson and you're flying in on a private jet. All of a sudden, you go to land and you see Dana White standing there with Tony Ferguson, uh, with with uh, Henry Cejudo, the plane, the plane. <laughs> yeah, like Tattoo Kid, <laughs> Fantasy Island. Wow. Well, number one, that's genius. Hilarious. Number two, number two can they really pull it off? Though I don't know. There's Why? Be, it's all their own camera guys. It's there's got to be own. some sort of legality because you're still within the confines of some nation. Those are international in- waters. If it's more than three miles out. He's right. And that it is three miles? Okay. It's either two or three, yeah. He's wow. right. And then what was it? Even if it's considered U.S. territory, I think it would be still legal, but it's just U.S. territory doesn't have to follow everything. But never did. No, U.S. U.S. territory. No fans, uh, it'd be no fans in attendance, just the fighters and, I guess, one or two coaches. There's usually three or four in the corners. Camera people, which realistically, you could do all robotic cameras. That's true. You could do all robotic cameras. Judges could be on an off-site location. Wow. Same thing with commentators. They announced Joe Rogan is involved. It's like so, UFC Island. Yeah. Well, UFC Fantasy cool. Island. And that they're going to be doing other fights from this island now with international fighters also, I guess, once borders open up again. Well, I just learned, learned I read yesterday that the WWE was thinking about doing the same thing that because they were, they were contemplating like, what are we going to do for the buildup after WrestleMania to create the next pay-per-view and yeah, rumor money in the bank. Right? Yeah, rumor had it. And I, I was reading this yesterday while trying to like do all my WrestleMania research after what just happened um, so that they were thinking about hosting it somewhere and not telling anybody where that somewhere is from some type of a bunker, a unno- bunker unknown. So that the state parts authorities, unknown. yeah. So the state authorities will not know where parts unknown is and how can they stop a show that's recorded in parts unknown when it's already done. And I was like, wow, the logic that's behind genius. that, it makes sense. I was like, it's that's like, actually that a great easy idea. to locate an Island and just like buy it. Like, like, how many islands are really off the coast of either, well, either Pacific or Atlantic? Thousands. Yeah, thousands. Oh, Look at the Bahamas. The Bahamas, how Bahamas many, is you, like 160 islands or some shit. Yeah. There, there's so I many. I have no idea. I just know there's a lot. <laughs> no, I actually know that there, there is so many That's outside of like the state range. In Hawaii yeah. alone, the amount of islands that are un, that non-man discovered. What I don't what's know. The, what's the cool way for an island? They want to buy one too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, but... It, Sure. Yeah, come on for for the new little price of five thousand dollars. <laughs> ju- 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 judging by the yeah. condition of your wires in door and back oh. of you, I don't think you can. Oh no, that's a, a, right there. That's a, that's a stylistic choice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's called cancer. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh man. So you know what? I think that's a great idea, Dalai Lama. What do you think about that, man? No, I think it's a great idea. I fucking I I, I want like a cool. Uh, but the island has to be big enough you know to do other shit besides yeah. ufc you know what i'm saying 
Yeah, we, 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 Not yeah, really. You, you have like a USC, USC festival because you, you're going to have people like going on a boat. So, you know, you have to make it worthwhile for these people to. No, but that's the thing is they're not going to have anybody there. It's not going to be for the fans. This is just oh, no, an later on, fight. No, no, later on, you know, for the future. You know, because after all this is That, that over. means the UFC, ESPN, ESPN Plus are going to reap the benefits because it'll be an actual sporting event. Right. And what I a heard pay, is, view, I guess, is right? yeah. there's rumors that they're going to – it's not going to be a pay-per-view, that they're going to let it be for free. And they're really? just going to charge an arm and a leg for uh, advertising? commercials and advertising. Dude, get that Purell sponsorship. Sponsored exactly. by Lysol, baby. <laughs> Clorox I think, wipes. I don't, think, I don't think Lysol and Purell these like, these sponsorship right now. I think I should say it. You know? Yeah, dude. UFC 248, sponsored by Charmin Ultra Plus. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I could see that. Oh, wow, man. So that's a great idea. I'm all for that. I, really I don't know if it's going to happen, but it's supposed to be on uh, next weekend. It is, it, is, it, is, it, is it official that they bought the island, or is it just still rumors? Uh, I, from what uh, Dana White said, they bought an island. Wow. Mm. So, All right. Well, we'll keep posted on that. We'll talk about that soon. And you yeah. know what? It's number three, and it's time to move on to topic number three. <sighs> Dalai Lama, what are you talking about today, man? Today, you know, I'm an alcoholic and shit, so <laughs> I'm talking about, like, uh, there's a lot of, uh, whatchamacallit, there's a lot of... Uh, breweries closing down probably like i wouldn't be surprised if like probably at least minimum one fourth of the micro brews is probably going to be closed down oh yeah yeah are, are, we, are we talking suck. about closed down for good or closed down for good. just for yeah for good. They, 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 just, but they, they say so some breweries who's doing a little bit better they say they got uh maximum three months so three months if this goes wow. on for three three more months gone and then the, the, the funny thing, I was actually looking up, you know, the brewery that me and James goes to, uh, Great South Bay Brew. Yeah, I was thinking, I was like, Shh. I'm like, shit. Like, I was like, this is bad. And I'm thinking about going there probably the, probably next weekend, not this week, coming weekend. Yeah, but they're not micro brew, though. They're, they're, Great South Bay? They're, 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 they're considered micro. No. Yeah, they're they larger than a, I would say they're larger than a micro brew because you can buy their beers in stores. Well, yeah, now you can. That's a good now point. you can. Yeah, no, I, I, you know, you know what? Maybe, maybe I, I just remember being a micro brew before, right. before, before the canning. Maybe I was well, like, "There's the one on um, where it's down in Oceanside Barrier Brewery. They're a micro brew. It's like a garage, and you can yeah. get it at some bars. But like, oh, they're screwed, man. If you can't, I know some are doing like pickups, uh, curbside pickups. Yeah, like yeah. Oyster Bay Brewery, one of my favorites. They're doing curbside pickup. Same thing with Great South, uh, Great South Bay. They're, they're, yeah. they're doing, I think they're even doing deliveries. So I'm going to try that out. I'm going to try I'm gonna try out some. Because they say they deliver in New York State. And I'm like, okay, how are you going to do this shit? All right. So I'm going to give that a shot. I'm going to give that a shot and uh, spend a good like 70 bucks for them on them. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I know, just, 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 <clears throat> just to keep them open because I, I love their shit. Me too. Yeah. It's a great brewery. Wow. So I'm actually, you know, I never thought about that because, you know, how, how are they going to make money? Well, actually, you know, not to tie it into too much what I do professionally. Like I was speaking to a very Ooh. important person yesterday. And it's all, all okay. to do with liquor and beer. It's not really a big important. deal. Humble brag. <laughs> <laughs> it is well, a big deal, James. It is. <laughs> I'm, I'm bringing it up because I, I had a question for him. I said, how has the coronavirus impacted your business? And he goes, like most liquor companies, whether they're bigger or smaller and breweries and rest, we're doing really, really well. Mm-hmm. He goes, I, he goes, in these horrible times, he goes, I hate to say this, I'm doing amazing. Yeah. Because it's what a lot of people, and he goes, we're not doing great in Pennsylvania, but we're doing great in New York. We're doing great in California. We're doing great in New Jersey because people booze. use us as a form of medicine, yeah. booze. And he's like, maybe if the micro brew or the small company, they're relatively new or they started out with a lot of debt, yeah, they're gone. Yeah. yeah, but to be honest with you, we're making so much money now because it's what people want and the demand is there, and they're paying the overhead, they're paying the the premium for us to deliver it to them. Yeah, and I was like, wow, good point. He's like, you know, we've worked out these deals with these distributors too, where these third parties, almost like an Uber, but an Uber for alcohol. Yep, I know, I know like, exactly the one you're talking about. He's like, they're all, we're we're making money hands over fist in these horrible times where people would rather spend it on a bottle of booze than on a carton of eggs. And oh, I just yeah, me too. I was like, yeah, good point. Good point. So, well, I hope the micro brews. I hope they don't close. But then, you know, no, no, it's well, gonna, it's gonna happen. But I, I just hope that not one fourth of them close. You know, it's gonna, it's gonna happen. You know. But you maybe because I, I mean I know um, I, I'm a fan of Blue Point Brewery, also out a little farther out east on Long Island. Patchogue. Yeah, 
um, I went there years ago, met their original, their, their two, the owners and the founders um, years ago. And they were, it was right before they got purchased by Anheuser-Busch. So that's mm. why you see it distributed a lot more. So I wonder if, yeah, maybe the micro brews will close, but does that give the opportunity for them also to sell to be bought out. some of the, yeah, to be bought out or majority share bought, and then we get that distributed more and then but, everybody makes more money. But then you could have the curse, which I, I'll call it the blue moon curse because blue moon was world renowned, well, us yeah. renowned for having an amazing beer. It was independent. It was beautiful. They went from, you know, they started with nothing yeah, turned into something, to and then all of a sudden they sold to Molson Coors and yeah. blue moon is just, Meh, blue moon. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, the taste oh, changed. Everything changed. Yeah, yeah that, 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 that's that's a problem. When you, usually when you sell out, they have to use these different uh, these different tools to make their shit, and it doesn't taste the same. They, uh, yeah. Well, yeah, because all the shit's fucking rushed out. Yeah, hopefully not. But that's like the one good thing with Blue Point is they're still made pretty much only at their brewery mm-hmm. out in Patchogue. So everything that they're making, they then ship out. So yeah, it's bought by it technically is owned, but I think majority share by Anheuser Busch, but they still make still, it in house. Mm-hmm. So the, the they taste, still make it. How, how, why does it taste different? If they still make it in house, then no, it doesn't. No, it's oh, not, oh, Blue Moon. Oh no, the Blue Moon still. We're not different. talking Blue Moon. We're talking no, no, Blue, Blue Point. Point. Oh, so, Blue Point. Oh yeah, yeah, Blue Point yeah. definitely fucking changed. Blue Moon yeah. is the is the 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 example of when buyouts go wrong. You know? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that Blue Point's why it's good. But then, but then again, it comes down to like, you know, we're all Americans here. Like I've been to uh, Amsterdam. I've been to Ireland. You have Guinness in Ireland. Yeah. You, have, you have Heineken in Amsterdam. And then you have it here both. Yeah. Yeah. I had, <laughs> I had Heineken down in St. Martin on the Dutch side. And it tasted so much better. Yeah. I'm, and that was down. It was, in the, it was, you know, in the Caribbean. But it's, it's night and day. Dutch owned. Yeah. Oh, it's so much better. Yeah. Well, Dalai Lama, I like your points, man. What are you drinking, my friend? <clears throat> White Claw Natural Lime. Oh. <laughs> oh, not bad. You're having a little bit of a lemon zest in there. Lemon yeah, zest? Yeah, yeah. You get some of that vitamin C. There's any... uh, Is that vitamin C, this fucker? Probably not. No. <laughs> it's, uh, does it say naturally or and artificially flavored? I never uh, looked at, at, at the two, White Claw. Two, two grams of sugar. <laughs> it's got I'm vitamin D, dude. It. It's got vitamin D. See, vitamin D. Vitamin uh, D. I can't see through this anyway. Fuck it. Vitamin D stands for vitamin D. Yep. <laughs> it's good to me. Well, guys, I'm glad we could catch up. It's been a little yeah. while. From now on, viewers and listeners, we're gonna be doing this twice a week because it's a lot easier to do remotely now that Dalai Lama has a camera set up in his house, mm-hmm. which could well, actually it's a be a make, bad thing. Makeshift cell phone to. PC camera. <laughs> what stuff? <laughs> Fucking works, baby. But either way, you know what? We'll do what we normally do. Dalai Lama, let's leave him with a little bit of wisdom. Give us some words of wisdom from yourself and we'll say peace out. What is the wisdom? Uh, drink. Be happy. Could be worse. Could be worse. Yeah. I'm not the, uh, yeah, could be way. It could be a lot worse. You know what? We'll end it on that. That's not bad. That's not bad, dude. That might be the best thing you've said on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha